And we are live <laughs> with Chris Hall and myself, Hello. Reverend Devin Jess Byrne. Hello, Chris. How are you enjoying that? The Patreon page. You like getting that inspiration stuff to your email? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You, you didn't block it yet. That's good. Okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not too bad. That's good. So we are. You're you're behind the scenes and live with, uh, like I said, Chris and myself, and we are discussing hopefully to get started into courses about synchronicity and, and all this great stuff. But as far as our discussion today, you were mentioning an idea about the thres- threshold of understanding. What do you got with that? Where are you going with that? Uh, so, during this downtime, um, I have... Uh, embraced um, a lot of quietness, stillness and um, some hobbies at home well not really hobbies but you know activities to kill the time um, I've I watched a lot of uh, live streams on Twitch yeah and um, there's there's a streamer um, who has just gotten introduced to uh, virtual reality gaming. Ooh. And, uh, you know, it's like a, a whole other world in that in that realm. <laughs> like, literally. Um, yeah. So, and then... I did see one video of a guy that said he wanted to do uh, a whole week strictly in virtual reality. And he did it, and he documented it. And he, once he got out of it, he was, he was like, "Wow, the graphics are amazing out here." <laughs> <laughs> There's like meditation circles he was going to, and virtual reality, and all sorts of stuff. It's funny. That's cool. crazy. So, um, you know, of course, him being a streamer, uh, he's he's friends or. Yeah, friends with other streamers, and he met someone who uh, has been in VR for quite some time, and um, is you know a lot more experienced in the VR realm. So um, he's easier to follow um, as far as you know tuning into spirit. Um, you know, he's much more relaxed then someone new at it and um so okay. there so I tuned into that streamer the more experienced one and um you know in the circle of VR friends um you know they're all just you know I'm interpreting it as you know something not of this world you know something otherworldly okay. and um and, fo- and following their um you know so this is where the threshold of understanding comes in where you know I'm only so limited to as watch watching these people that um you know in my mind I can be at one with them but there's only to a certain point where you know it's like okay well how do I how do I reinterpret this interaction right now like um, you know it's okay. a, it's kind of like it's kind of like I need to be present physically to um, you know completely understand like what's going on because you're not doing it yourself like you're not in the VR yourself is that what you're saying? yeah yeah <laughs> we, we interpret and change it and distort it and we have this sense of prejudice about everything that we are trying to understand or experience 
And so even if we were looking through somebody's eyes, literally, like living as you, with all that interpretation previously, we wouldn't be fully enveloped in it as well. So I know this might take it into a whole other stage, but as far as the availability in the seventh dimension is actually perceiving, even in the fifth dimension, uh, through everyone's experience and eyes. And so you actually can uh, live in the other person. But a lot of people think, oh, then you have another personality within you. And then they get uh, this idea right. about multiple personalities and stuff. No, no, uh, it's not like that because they literally are you. So they are have the same... Like, without your prejudice and without your beliefs, you're not you. It's, that's what defines what you are separate. And so if they're living in and through you, they have your beliefs, your memories, and your prejudice. And literally, they don't remember being themselves either. They remember only being you. So it's, oh, it's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're as convinced about you as you are. Like, even right now, like, you're actually not even you, but you're convinced you're you because you're fully enveloped in your memories and beliefs and, and patterns right. and everything. And so, real virtual reality, you actually believe you are the other person because you are integrated into their mind and memories and belief systems and all the thought patterns that they have. Literally, you, you're thinking with them. So, of course, virtual reality isn't there yet, thank God. Uh, but as far as this reality is, absolutely, it's happening quite often. You actually have more people watching your live stream, your life life stream. That's, we can call it that. More than uh, any any streamer than you can imagine. You actually got like billions of people watching you right now. Yeah, they know your secrets, dude. <laughs> so that gets into a really trippy, uh, kind of crazy talk. But getting into the fifth dimensional reality and more of the seventh, but understanding every motive that you have completely, you know, because they live it with you. I mean, you understand your motives, right? Right. Because you are living with you, you live as you. And so you believe your motives, you believe your understanding, you believe when you're doing something you should be or you shouldn't be, you believe when you're guilty, you believe when you're uh, free and liberated, you believe yourself. And so in the seventh dimension, it's called and referred to as the last judgment. And a lot of people suggest that Jesus really is Christ. Christ is judging you. And you know why? Because Christ is you. Like it's living as you right now. And so it knows your motives, it knows, you know, your judgments of yourself. Essentially, you're deciding if you're going to experience any such state of ha heaven or hell that you are deciding. So nobody judges me but me, who is Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you are going into this, but I sure am. <laughs> it's pretty deep, man. Yeah. So, threshold of understanding. Let's take a couple steps back there, Nevin. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can't understand what I'm saying until you actually experience it yourself, right? Right. right. Yeah. And uh, I was talking to Dr. Mark the other day, and, in fact, just last night, and he was uh, asking about waking up. He's like, you, you can't really wake anybody up, can you? Like, no, I just kind of inspire and and tell people little hints and secrets of alternate realities. But until they really want to do it themselves, they're not going to dive into it and take what, you know, the real dedication that's necessary until they're ready to do it. Yeah. Right. And there's no blame about any of that because, really, we're here to experience here. I mean, we're not really here in reality, in truth. We're not really here anyway. So it's like we're only here because we want to be here. So we're doing what we want to do. So there's no shame in that. Right? <laughs> right. Exactly. So what do you think about all that? 
Ah, uh, it's a lot. Yeah. Not quite where you were going. So where were you going with it? Say <laughs> <laughs> uh. so like a threshold of understanding from your perspective of someone else's. You can only understand as far as you can relate with, right? Through your experience right. and their experience. You so then you apply and associate their words to your experience and try not grasp it, trying to understand it, even understanding the words I'm saying. So if you if you don't have the experience of it, then you don't relate to the words and the ideas spoken. And so you hit a threshold of understanding until you're ready to experience it. That's kind of one reason why we're here in the physical and separated consciousness idea is so that we can uh, experience another additional aspect of reality to uh, eventually experience all aspects and directions and perspectives of reality. Gotcha. <laughs> but I don't want to totally lose you, man. Wait, come on, pick it up. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I lost him. <laughs> I opened a black hole and he got sucked in. Yeah. <laughs> You have questions about it, maybe? Uh, like, how is that possible? Devin, yeah. you'd be crazy. Is that what you say? Devin, you'd be crazy. Is that a question? I think it's a question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a trippy world. I mean, the think about the, the universe is a lot more than we can grasp. And, I mean, the whole idea of virtual reality is kind of the same thing about dreams. Like, it's trying to teach us what our reality is. And I, one thing I'd like to explain about uh, help understanding of dimensions is with dreams. I don't know if you've heard me talk about this. Is that, uh, you know, like, in a dream you have a person... Oh, you were, you were saying you had a dream. You've been having dreams about going to work at the bowling alley and they send you home, right? Well... To, to bowl, not to work. Oh, okay. Well, to bowl. So you, in that, you yourself, you have a personality. You're talking to other people. They have personalities. They're separate from you. And, and you have this idea. And you wanted to do something. And you had a desire to go bowl. And, and that That's your ego personality that has time, understanding, and separated idea. That's the fourth dimension where uh, you have a comprehension consciousness of separation and then the separation the people you see and the people you're talking to is the third dimension that's the physicality in your your ego consciousness wanted to do something in the separated world the bullying right mm -hmm. and then in this idea you're, you're also dreaming right so, so yeah. you're not actually seeing any bodies and you're not actually thinking that you're going bowling you're actually just having synapses charging in your brain, right? Little electrical right. impulses. So that that's actually like the second dimension. You're only seeing energy. And you're thinking it's physical bodies, and you're thinking it's you going bowling in the physical bodies and going home because you're supposed to be in quarantine. <laughs> but you're really only seeing electrical synapses. And then the first dimension is actually what you are as the dreamer, as Chris. You're just dreaming synapses charging in your brain and you're distorting it into bodies that distorts it into thinking that it's you going bowling in those bodies. See the dimensions there? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty twisted stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> the zeroth dimension, technically, would be what is outside uh, or beyond this dreamer self as in Christ is the first dimension dreamer self and then what is the Christ and so it's the total essence of all consciousness and all existence which is God oh so you wanted to talk about the threshold of consciousness or understanding not actually experience it oh jeez yeah I definitely hit a wall of understanding that's what that is. 
it's all good. So you've been having any good synchronicities? Or? Um, in with my dreams. Yeah. Uh, dreams and real life. Are you a member of or enrolled into the community courses, the dream courses? Yes. With Chandra at Sangha? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you got those through the Patreon membership thing or not. Awesome. Yeah, we're adding to that. In fact, she is being a surrogate for twins, and she just got impregnated today. Oh, wow. <laughs> Talk about the future. I guess I've been so doing that for a while. So you choose twins? What? You can choose if you want to have twins or not? Yeah, they just... Well, it depends on what sticks, really. Uh, I'm sure they'll find out within a few weeks for sure what's really happening. But they're attempting to have two twin, or twins, yes. Sticking two embryos in there, anyway. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah, uh, out-of-body experience course is probably the most popular course I have right now. It's just like people enrolling all over the place in there. So yeah, we gotta keep communicating so that we can develop our courses. I'd yes. Like to get some of those by the end of the summer. I'll get to those, if not sooner. <laughs> Thanks for being here live, everybody. Anyway, and have a beautiful day. I'm not hanging up on you, though. All right.